growing impatient. Who is it on? Is it on the player? Or it is on or is it on coaching developing these players? The co- the development of these players uh coming from the coaches. Are the coaches doing a good enough job to get these guys prepared? Right? Are they scheming correctly? Are they putting them in the right position? Right? There's a lot of things that we don't see that end up getting us impatient, right? So the one name that stands out to me immediately is AJ Epinesa, right? One can say, yo, I, I'm done. I've seen what I need to see from AJ Epinesa. I'm done. Let's let's keep let's keep it moving, right? Let's try to look for some trade pieces for AJ Epinesa, see if somebody else will grab him and go from there. But are we are we are we giving up too soon? Right? I see some really good things with AJ Epinesa. We've seen some really good flashes from him, right? The challenge is you have so many guys on the damn line that you need to rotate and get these guys in and out. So maybe a change of philosophy in terms of rotating constantly and keeping guys fresh can allow these guys to really get a, a feel for the game, a feel for their opponent, and then go from there. I mean, I, I don't know if I, I've, I've explained this to you, but I was I did an interview with Greg Rousseau, right? And Greg Rousseau had, had a couple games uh, in, his, in his final year of collegiate ball where dude had like, multiple sacks and i asked him what is it about having these multiple sacks in these games like what's the nuances what's what's going on how you how are you setting things up trying to get the most out of it and you're trying to set up your next move it's almost like playing chess so it's a mind game when do you know that you got that tackle man you ain't nothing i got you i got you exactly where i want you i'd say when they stop like because the tackle or guard, they're going to block the way they want to block at all times. They'll just like a shooter's going to shoot the way they want to shoot. Like if Curry's shooting threes, he's going to want to shoot threes, you know? Okay. Uh, so like you see them get out of their comfort zone and start doing little different things with their technique, you know, like maybe they're kicking a little bit deeper or not as deep or to shoot their hands a little bit faster. That's when you know that you're kind of, you know, getting them off their game and vice versa for the defensive end. If he's doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff or whatever, you know, you kind of got him out of this game. It's about finding the tendencies with that lineman, knowing what I can do with them. And then once I figure him out, it's over with. Like, there's there's nothing you can do about it, right? So how are you to figure someone out if half the time you're on the sideline because you're waiting for your turn to get into the in, into the game, right? So there's that point. So with a guy like AJ Epinesa, you tend to want to see more from him, but he's he's at the mercy of the rotation game. The rotation game uh, is is what the game that's being played with McDermott with the way he does things, right? He wants guys in and out fresh, ready to go because we need to get after that quarterback. Well, what good is it if I can't, I can't get a rhythm. And some people feel like that is not the way to look at it. Either you're, you got it or you don't. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not as simple as that, right? You gotta, you gotta understand, you gotta get a feel for it. No different from a running back. You put a running back in for two to three carries. What was that going to do for me? I need to get a good feel for how this defense has been playing. You give me 15 touches, I'll show you what's good. And we saw a great example of that with Devin Singletary, right? 15 to 20 touches, he produces. Seven to 15 touches, very difficult to get production out of that, right? It's just it's just tough. Circumstances change in the game. It, it differs. So a, a guy like AJ Epinesa would be someone that I'm like, mm, it's it, it'd be quick for us to say, I'm done with that dude, but give him a, give him an opportunity and we might see more out of him, right? Patience.